There's lots and lots of themes available for Drupal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find a theme and then using Drush, we're going to install it really quickly. Now we could take the long way around and, and download the theme and unzip it and put it in the right folder, but Drush is going to allow us to do that in just a few minutes. So the first thing we have to do is find a theme. So I usually just go out to Drupal themes, do a search on Google. Takes me right to the page out on the Drupal website. And then I can either browse through the hundred or the almost a thousand themes, or I can type in what I want. Real popular theme is Danland. And if we go out to that site, you can see the name of the file is right up here. That's the key for Drush. So let's take a look at Drush. I'm assuming you already have Drush installed. If you don't, just go ahead and install it. It's well worth it. It's a quick install and instructions are out on the Drupal website. So now that we have the name of the theme we want, let's use Drush. So I, I'm running Terminal. And the very first thing you need to do is change to the directory where your site is located. Now, if you're using WAMP or MAMP, then you, this will be your WW folder inside that uh, WAMP or MAMP. For me, I'm using my uh, Macintosh, so I go in through my library. So I'm going to change directory to library, web server, documents, and my site is called Drupal 5 Minutes. So I'm in that folder, and I'm going to tell Drush to download DL Danland. And this is where the name was, gets to be important. Drush goes out, finds Danland, downloads it, puts it in the correct file. So now I want to enable this theme, so I'll say Drush enable Danland. Enable is E-N. Ask me if I want to continue, and it's OK, and it's now been enabled. And finally, I want to make this my default theme, so I'll say Drush vset theme underscore default and give it the name. I'm going to set the flag. And there's one final Drush command that I can use, so I'll say Drush PM list double dash type equals theme. And there's my themes. And here you can see my Danlin has been enabled. And if we go back to the site and do a refresh, Control-R, here you can see my new site. 